One of the important medias that you use for isolation of organisms is blood agar. Now, what is the important thing that you have to remember about blood agar? Especially when we're talking about gram-positive organisms, we always describe of what is known as hemolysis. Now, hemolysis is something that is described as, you know, bacteria which produces hemolytic enzymes. And this is something that you have to keep in mind when you're isolating the organism. Now, there are three types of hemolysis which is described. Alpha hemolysis, beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis. Now, what exactly is alpha hemolysis? Now, alpha hemolysis happens because of partial lysis of RBCs. And this can be appreciated in the form of green discoloration, which is seen around the colonies. Now, this is one typical description for pneumococcus. So always remember, whenever they give you a question about pneumococcus, they always talk about what is known as alpha hemolysis and also a capsule which is described about streptococcus pneumonia. Now, the other important thing that you have to know is beta hemolysis. Now, beta hemolysis is because of lysis or complete lysis of your RBCs. So this is seen in the form of complete clearing which is present around the colonies. And this is very typically seen with Staph aureus. So always remember, Streptococcus or Pneumococcus, when we're talking about Pneumococcus, it's always alpha hemolysis. When we're talking about Staphylococcus, we talk about beta hemolysis. Now there is a third one which you should remember, which is called as gamma hemolysis. Now what exactly is gamma hemolysis? Gamma hemolysis is nothing but a misnomer, which means there is no hemolysis at all. So this is what is seen with Enterococcus. So Enterococcus does not produce any hemolysis in blood agar and that is one feature that you have to keep in mind along with the shape of your Enterococci. So this is an important thing that you have to remember when it comes to hemolysis which is appreciated on blood agar.